What's up YouTube, it's Ben, and in this video, we're gonna break down the steps it takes to build a seven-figure recruiting agency. All right, guys, so recently I posted about a student of mine who's going to hit seven figures by the end of 2021. So December 31st, 2021, he will have crossed over $1 million in revenue. He's already at 550,000 for the year and he's pacing to hit seven figures. So what does it take to actually build a seven figure agency? If by chance you didn't catch the interview that I did with my student, Cody, who's gonna hit seven figures, it's in our Facebook group, link in description. Go ahead and check that out if you want. He talks about the program, about how he's gonna hit seven figures, where he's at, what he's done to get there, all that kind of stuff. But let's jump right into the steps. So in order to hit seven figures in your agency, you really need to be bringing on about three to four clients every single month. That means signed contracts with job orders, multiple job orders on those three to four plus clients per month. With that being said, to get three to four clients per month, you generally need to build a team around you or at least one or two VAs that are gonna help you with business development, getting new clients, and on your candidate outreach so that you can actually fulfill the job orders that you're given by your clients. That's a really big deal about the seven-figure agency, building out teams, right? So bringing on people that can help you in the business development area, in the candidate arena, in all of those places, because otherwise you're simply gonna be inundated with too much volume that you can't handle and Ultimately, that will make you fall short of hitting seven figures. Now to actually hit seven figures, a million dollars in a year, you need to bring in approximately $83,333 on a monthly basis every single month consistently. And if you're not doing that, you're not tracking for seven figures. So in order to do that, how many placements does it really take to get there? That is the seven figure question, quite literally, because there's a million different ways to get there. And you can do it by making several large placements in a month, or you can do it by spreading out a bunch of various little placements that are pretty large still, but they're not as big as maybe, you know, 50,000 a pop um, every single time. So generally what I see is that anywhere from four to five placements at a $20,000 fee. Let's talk about that fee for a second. Going to seven figures means that you need to go higher on fees, right? So we're not really going to be placing people at $5,000 fees, $10,000 fees. You really need to be placing where you're going to get 20,000 or so per placement. With that being said, about four five placements, that's going to put you at that $83,000 mark per month in revenue to pace you for seven figures by the end of the year. Of course, to break that down a little bit more, your fee is going to have to be at about 18 to 20% more towards 20%, maybe even 25% if the role calls for it. And you're going to need to be hunting in bigger tier roles. I'm talking about IT, finance, medical with volume, things like that, things that are higher tier three level roles that are actually going to fetch 75K to 150K salaries so that you can actually command a 20% fee. A question that people ask me all the time is that can you hit seven figures by yourself? Yes, the answer is yes, you definitely can. You're gonna to need to work very hard and a lot of people can do that. There's plenty of people that I know that are seven figure recruiters all on their lonesome, they don't have any assistance, they do it all themselves and they work really, really hard. They work smarter, not harder, that kind of thing. So that's definitely a yes. If you are starting out or if you are going the more traditional route, you would probably bring on a team, like I said earlier, with maybe two to three people that are gonna assist you with placing these roles, finding the clients and continuing the full cycle so that it's not all on your shoulders. That extra help is gonna help with the extra volume. I think it's really important for people to understand that seven figures is attainable. You can do it. It's definitely something that can be done. You just need to set your goals properly and your action steps properly. 
So just like I did in the last video, I broke down the numbers, I broke down what it takes, I broke down the steps, and I encourage you to do the exact same thing for yourself. Break it down, understand how long it would take you to actually get to seven figures and what it will take you to get to seven figures. Reference this video back. Understand exactly the numbers you need to hit on a monthly basis to actually get to that seven figure mark. Now hitting seven figures in your recruiting agency is only a magnitude of order from hitting six figures in your recruiting agency. Understand that it's a multiplication, right? It's a multiplier of what you did to hit six figures. It's a multiplier of the team needed to hit six figures, right? It's a multiplier of the effort, the energy, and everything you put into making six figures, but now seven. So I really hope this video inspires you. I really hope that it gives somebody a kick to go after it, somebody to actually see what they can accomplish and understand how it's doable. So if you enjoyed this video or found any value, please smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and hit the alert button so you know every single time I come out with a brand new video. Until then.